Welcome to uh, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Peterborough, New Hampshire. I'm Pastor David Mueller, and we welcome you on this uh, Reformation Day, not just Reformation Sunday, but Reformation Day this time, because the 31st falls on Sunday this year. And uh, uh, we are using the readings uh, for the 23rd Sunday after Pentecost rather than Reformation Day readings because the Gospel reading leads into the next three Sundays and I wanted to use the sermon that ties together those four weeks uh, as we come to the end of the church here this time. We will be uh, singing Mighty Fortress as we uh, close our celebration today and we will be doing a reading from a book called The Adventures of Martin Luther uh, for kind of a children's message or at, and probably for us adults too to be reminded of a little bit of the story of the Reformation and uh, what, uh, what we learned by uh, God's grace through the work of Martin Luther. So anyway, uh, our opening hymn this morning, 431, not all the blood of beasts on Jewish altars slain could give the guilty conscience peace or wash away the stain, 431. service setting four uh, on page 203 in Lutheran service book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, Amen. who made heaven and earth. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. Since we are gathered to hear God's word, and call upon him in prayer and praise and receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the fellowship of this altar, let us first consider our unworthiness and confess before God and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and that we cannot free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together as his people, let us take refuge in the infinite mercy of God our Heavenly Father, seeking his grace for the sake of Christ and saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. Almighty, Almighty God, God, have, have mercy, mercy upon us, us. forgive us our sins, sins and lead us, us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, in holy baptism you declared us to be your children and gathered us into your one holy church, in which you daily and richly forgive us our sins and grant us new life through your spirit. Be in our midst, enliven our faith and graciously receive our prayer and praise through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And today's intro, it, and Tyler, it's not the one on the little sheet, it's, it's the one on the bigger sheets today. They're different, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so you might want to look on with uh, Mary or something if you want. 
Today's intro from portion of Psalm 89 and the opening and closing antiphon from Psalm 9. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said, steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. You have said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I, I will establish your offspring forever and build your throne for all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. We continue on page 204 with the Kyrie and the Glory in Excelsis. our great high priest cleanse us by the power of your redeeming blood that in purity and peace we may worship and adore your holy name for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen. Amen. please be seated 